Hopefully we're taking a live look at our Coachella cam, looking like a beautiful and clear morning in large part because we're staying nice and dry and winds have weakened quite a bit. Now on the valley floor, winds are nice and calm for us, but as the further we head out west, it's a different story. That's why we still have a wind advisory in effect for areas west of the valley, including the San Gregorio Pass and the Riverside and San Bernardino County Mountains until 3 o'clock this afternoon, as we could still see gusts between between 20 to 30 miles per hour and peak wind gusts at 55 miles per hour as we've seen over the past 24 hours. So still monitoring those wind conditions, but as you can see locally, looking a lot better than we did yesterday. But again, the further you head out west, a different story. We're seeing a gust of 35 miles per hour right now in Beaumont and 30 miles per hour in Banning, 12 miles per hour near Whitewater. So along the I-10 corridor, a little bit windier as it always is. And later on today, we could see winds pick up around the uh, I-10 corridor. Around noon, we could see a gust of 19 miles per hour near Whitewater and 13 miles per hour near Desert Hot Springs. It stays fairly calm on the valley floor here, still fairly windy as you head out towards the west. But as the afternoon continues, we'll start to see wind speeds across our region start to die down and dwindle overnight into Monday. So weaker winds and calmer conditions are ahead of us by Monday morning. Still, because of these windy conditions, we're seeing that there's plenty of dry air in the atmosphere, which is why we are continuing to track fire conditions or critical fire conditions rather. Here's a look at our dew points across the valley right now. We're still in the teens and as uh, the farther you head out west, we're below that 10 degree mark. So it's extremely dry right now and we've already seen some fires strike up in areas like Cabazon, the Elm Fire. That's exactly why we have a red flag warning still in effect until three o'clock this afternoon as we continue to track those critical fire conditions. Now looking at our first alert comforter seven day forecast, I'm also tracking a very mild warming trend. Now yesterday we were a little bit beneath our seasonal average. Today we've just about reached it with a high of 72 degrees and we'll stay in the 70s through the upcoming work week. You're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader.